Carolina. We have been on quite the adventure the past couple of days. We drove up on Wednesday and it was a full day travel day to get here. I really do love road trips though. I love stopping to get snacks and listening to music and podcasts. So we really don't mind the drive, but definitely took up quite a bit of time. And then yesterday we spent the full day with Brandon's side of the family. They have a cozy cabin in the woods near Lake Nantahala in North Carolina. So that was just so peaceful and rejuvenating. We really just took it easy. We slept in because we got in pretty late the day before and then had breakfast at the cabin and then we went on a little family nature walk, picked lots of wildflowers. And then we also went down to the lake, had lunch there and just took in the views and spent time together. It was really lovely and Brandon made a fire at night and we made s'mores. It was such a beautiful day. And then early this morning, we left the cabin and drove four and a half hours to get to Greensboro, North Carolina. And we are here now for my friend Haley and Nick's wedding. So it's gonna be a full weekend of wedding festivities. Today is Friday before the wedding. So we just had a bridal lunch at the resort. So we're staying at the Grandover Resort and Spa in Greensboro. And then the wedding is about 20 minutes away at a farm. So. We had the lunch and then I'm about to change and touch up my hair and we're about to go to the rehearsal and then we also have the rehearsal dinner. So that's what's on the agenda tonight and there's a little welcome party. So I'm getting all settled for that. Funny story, a little stressful. I have my bridesmaid dress and I tried it on as soon as it arrived and sent um, the bride a picture and everything just so she would see make sure it looked like her vision and I I don't know what I was thinking but I I I did not hem this dress okay and I am 53 for context so typically if it's a gown it's gonna be really long on me um, so I, I just totally forgot to get it hemmed. I was just thinking, oh, I'll wear high heels and it'll be fine. But I was like picking out my shoes a couple days ago to bring on the trip with my bridesmaid dress. And they were all way too short because I don't really wear high heels that much. This is like the highest heels I have, just maybe an inch or two. And none of them are gonna cut it. And I obviously did not have time to get it hemmed because this was like the day before we were supposed to leave. So I went on Amazon and I found these babies and this is my solve and it's great. I am just gonna grow a few inches this weekend and thankfully I've worn this, I not very often, but I have worn this high heels for a project I had in February um, at Disneyland. I had to wear these for like this fashion show, bridal fashion show that was so fun, but I was very intimidated by um, the high heels, but thankfully they aren't as bad as they seem, especially because of this platform right here. This is very helpful to have just to add that additional height, but kind of even evenly distrib distributed a little bit more. So I ordered these on Amazon like the day before we were leaving or the day of that we were leaving because part of me was like, oh, we'll just find the store when we get there. But obviously that's not guaranteed that we would find something like this. So thankfully Amazon came through to me and I had it delivered to a nearby Amazon locker and Brandon picked it up while I was at the lunch today. So I'm feeling good. I'm just thankful that it's working out because that's kind of like a major thing that was on my mind that I knew I needed to figure out. But we're good to go there and really excited to celebrate our friend's marriage and experience North Carolina. We won't have too much time to really explore. It was really nice to have that cabin family time yesterday and just be in the woods because around where we live in Florida, the geography and terrain is just so different. It's so much more lush here. So it's lush in a different way. We have like lush tropical, lots of palm trees, and this is lush woodsy. So. We really appreciate it, really enjoy it, and then tomorrow I'll be I'll be doing the bridesmaid um, celebrations all day, so we'll get ready pretty early in the morning. I'll catch you up tomorrow, but hopefully on Sunday before we head back home, we can maybe grab some local coffee, some local coffee beans, get some yummy breakfast. We'll see, but that's a little rundown of what's going on here. Here's our room at the Grandover Resort and Spa. Very nice shower, bathroom. I love to get ready in front of a window though, so I plugged in my curling iron over by the window so that 
I can have the natural light. This is kind of unique to have this little, I don't think you could call it a kitchenette, but this sink and then coffee station, probably a mini fridge. Yep. The bed looks very comfy. Little chair, desk area, and then our view. Lots of trees in the distance. so exciting to finally see the venue for the first time because we had been hearing about it for months and months and it was so incredibly beautiful really just vast and calm and peaceful and really lush not to mention the alpacas that was absolutely the highlight for me i was so excited to see and spend some time with these adorable alpacas and then once we did the rehearsal, we went back to the hotel for the rehearsal dinner, which was quite lovely. We got to enjoy an alfresco meal and sweet times. Brandon and I went for a walk after too, and I walked right into this hole on the golf course. It wasn't one of the holes that you try to land the ball in. It was a random hole that thankfully I didn't break my ankle on. It was such a deep hole. I didn't even put my hand in all the way because it was spooking me out but yeah that was hilarious but also a little painful but thankfully nothing too serious we had a good laugh and then we went back inside for a little welcome reception for the other guests and then the next morning we were up bright and early and sat outside for a breakfast buffet and then spent the rest of the day prepping for the wedding which it really was absolutely stunning. Haley pulled out all of the stops and her and her family worked so, so hard on all of the details and making it such a intentional and just beautiful celebration of their love. That's a wrap on an absolutely beautiful wedding day. It truly was a fairy tale. I wasn't obviously able to get a video of this, but Haley and her dad came in on a horse and carriage, like in Cinderella. So that was definitely a highlight. Um, a few of us knew that that was happening, but it was a surprise for most of the guests. So that was a showstopper, but it really was such a beautiful celebration. Definitely a long day. I'm feeling incredibly sleepy. Brandon's feeling very sleepy too. He was dancing the night away. And I'm very excited to, <laughs> I'm very excited to take these bobby pins out. Um, meaning I'm gonna count how many bobby pins are in my hair. And it's very teased in the back too. So I'm very scared to brush it. I don't know if I should. I don't want to wash my hair tonight because it's already midnight and I just want to go straight to bed after I shower but if I wash my hair then my hair is going to be all wet and it'll make me so cold so maybe I'll just shower once we get home tomorrow with like all my leave-in conditioner and stuff but we're already on 10 bobby pins and I still feel a lot back there so 
I'll update you with how many we tally up. I counted 37 bobby pins.
we'll end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and spending time on, with us on this road trip through the Carolinas. Really such beautiful time in such a beautiful state. But I hope you all are well and I'm excited to see you next. Bye. Bye. Bye.